Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. I just saw it pop up. <laughs> hey, Beauty Table Top. What is going on? I have a special guest today. Shakisha Sims joining me, a local entrepreneur in Richmond, Virginia. How are you today, Keisha? I'm doing amazing. How are you? I'm good. I'm just sharing this with some of my peoples. You know what? I need to do the same thing. Um, hold on. Um, well, I'm glad you took time out of your busy schedule <laughs> on with me today you're welcome thanks for asking me to be on yes okay how do you share oh what? i just did mine from the phone girl i just went to your page and shared it oh okay because i know yeah i'm an amateur at this sometimes <laughs> you can individually share it to like all your friends yeah, or either you can just share it on your personal page or you can tag people in it. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. So, um, again, like I said, I have Chakisha Sims. She's a business owner. She's a bonus mom. She's a wife. She's an <laughs> entrepreneur and an educator. Yes. So, um, and also she's my, she's my sweet um, neighbor. <laughs> we call it my sweet buddy, my sweet yes, buddy. yes. Salon Plaza, yes. where y'all at? I know, right? So, um, like I'm trying to share. Um, I guess I should have did this before. How unprofessional! <laughs> You're fine. Okay, so, um. All right, so today, um, like I said, I wanted to have you on so we could just talk about some a lot of things, you know, stuff okay. about things, things that you might have going on um, outside of hair. Um, so let's start with that. So okay. it's more, let me tell this story first. Um, Keisha don't remember. But I, I remember her from 1995. We worked in um, on Chamber Avenue at a salon right beside each other. Yeah. And, and I was and I when I saw you again, I was like, that's that girl you used to work with. I, mean, I don't think we never really talked, but you know, you always, I mean, you know, when you see somebody all the time, you just like, you never yeah. So I was like, did you used to work on Chamberlain? You're like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we go back way back. We just yeah. didn't know each other, but we go way back. So yeah. anyway, um, what made you decide to want to start doing hair? Um, well, I've always had the passion for doing hair. So to kind of snowball it all together. So when I was in high school, I took it up at Hermitage Technical Center, in which I believe that if you have the passion for it, take it up in tech because it's way cheaper than going to. I'm not, not knocking any of those businesses because some places don't have techs, but take it while you can do it in school is way cheaper. When I went back in the dinosaur ages, I just had to pay for my kit in my book. I think it was like under $600. So, <laughs> so, and it was an easy choice for me because I like interacting with people. Um, it was for me it was either going into daycare or hair because I love children. Okay. But I was like, hmm, which one is easier? So I went with the easiest, which was hair for me. So I got I went through school. Um, I graduated in 92 and then I started working at um, New Dimensions Hair Salon. Shout out to all the Chamberlain Avenue salon. <laughs> and I worked there in 94 and I worked there from 94 to 97. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, I started to mature and realized like I had bills. I couldn't just make money, spend Monday money. Mm -hmm. So I actually stopped doing hair full time and I just was doing it part time. And fast forward to 10 years ago, I got fired from Capital One, praise God. At the time I was like, oh my gosh, I got fired, but it was a blessing. Um, and I was able to go back in and be a full-time entrepreneur, and I would not change it for the world. Oh, good. And 
Yeah, sometimes more than ten years, but it's about ten years. Yeah. Sometimes God has to out of stuff because we get in there, we get complacent, and He like, look, I'm trying to take you further. Yeah. And we be like, nah, I'm good, but that that's good. Yeah, because the the thing that happened was like as I started working for corporate, uh-huh. the managers were younger than me. And they treated me, you know, and I was like, I can't let you talk to me any kind of way. Like, I have other gifts and talents. So I was barding, I was negotiating with God. I was like, God, okay, first of the year, I'm going to just leave the job. I'm going to go ahead and do hair. Right. And then my mom had got sick. And I was like, man, I need to be with my mom. And then they were like, they were, it was like they were really tripping. Okay. And God was like, you know what? I'm going to set it up so they can just fire you because you're not going to do it on your own. I got fired. Um, I moved back home to help my mom, you know, get through, you know, cancer. She's a survivor. Praise God. Yeah. But I was able to do the things that I couldn't do in corporate life. You know, I got so, you know, getting those 401k and them benefits and stuff and being able to get vacation time. That was great. But losing, not being able to do what I love. Yeah. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be sipping on some coffee. <laughs> That's an amazing story. Do you hear feedback? Not that much, just a little teeny, teeny bit. I wonder what it is. So, okay. So, you said, so how long total have you been doing hair? Total? Over 20 something years? Yeah, so let me see. 94. So, like 24 years, like doing it professionally. Okay. I mean, of course, you know, when you got the the gift, you doing, you know, hair in the kitchen and your mama's kitchen and stuff like that. So, but professionally and, you know, legit 24 years. <laughs> That's good. A lot that has changed over 24 years. Yeah, I have. And I think it's I've seen a lot of good and a lot of bad changes, um, but I'm going to focus on the good because everybody always focuses on the bad. I've seen a lot more hairstylists. Let's just stay in that way. I've seen a lot more hairstylists that are will that want to learn more. They don't want to just be stuck doing the same thing. Um, that they want to be able to educate their clients. I mean, for so many years. You know, we were just doing hair, being creative, and didn't really know the importance of offering services that was going to, you know, really be beneficial. So just the education part, like seeing people wanting and like just having that fever like that. I want to learn more. I want to learn more. And like, I mean, even like in this season that we're in now, like me and you, we'd be like on all these Zoom classes, like taking in all the information, wanting to be more than just a beautician. You know, because they are different. Like, I'm not a beautician. I am a hair stylist educator. Even though I may not teach hair to students, but I'm still teaching it to my clients. And I can't give them the best. It's like a doctor. You're not going to go to the doctor that just got, you know, he only went to school for four years and is 20 years in the game and he still ain't trying to do anything different. He's going to give you high blood pressure medicine and all you got is migraines. (laughs) <laughs> educate yourself so you know yeah the education piece seeing some of the old school stylists that I look up to like eat, reaching out to the younger stylists like is the pride is starting to diminish in the industry yeah. it's not you know because I own this salon I had all the stylists you know in Richmond or all the stylists in North Carolina come to me it's like they're starting to see that it's about a community not just just your brand I think, I think this time has brought a lot of us closer as a community versus more so being so competitive. Yeah. Because it's, it's enough for everybody to get it. You know what I'm saying? And like they say, each one teach one. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'm top of iron. Like I was telling yeah. you, like, you push me. You know, like, I don't want to sit around and be on Zoom classes all day long. <laughs> I mean, once I do it, I love it. And I'm like, yeah. this is probably, you know what I'm saying? So thank you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So um, yesterday we were on a, um, a Zoom 
call and the lady was teaching us how to do websites, which mm-hmm. you are already a master in that. <laughs> and so I'm sitting on there like, I don't know none of this. This is like, okay, what is this? But I mean, it's all good to know. You know, I'm glad I had this time to learn. But I was asking you, um, you know, with us having booking systems and they do a lot for us mm-hmm. um, as far as advertising and things of that nature, um, you know, sending yeah. appointment reminders and everything. Um, but then you had a separate website too, along with the booking system. And I was mm-hmm. asking why, because I just didn't, not saying nothing was wrong with it. And I guess for me, as I was sharing with you, I didn't have the time and I probably was being lazy to so <laughs> figure out how to do a website plus have my booking system. But like, what's the importance to you of having, um, you know, your own personalized website? Yeah. Well, to me, when I, so, the transition for me from being a contract booth renter to a salon suite owner, I wanted to um, build, I was going in it with the future in mind. I didn't want to just start a business, just to start a business for the for today. I wanted to start it with like where I want to see my business. It's kind of like one of those things that you dress for the job that you want. Yeah. I wanted to create my business for the brand that I wanted it to be when it, you know, when the time came. So for me, it was all about having a branding um, system in place. So when people knew about hair couture, they would talk about not just the beauty services, but the customer service, the ease of being able to go to one central place to get a lot of things and for me um I was using Style C prior to even having a website but I didn't I decided to get it when I decided to open my own and it was because um like with a website you can do a lot of other things that you can't do on those booking systems like if you wanted to do an event um or if you wanted to um you know even on the booking systems you can do a mailing list but on websites, you can put immediate alerts. So prime mm-hmm. example right now, when my clients go to my website, immediately a box pops up when they go to book saying, due to COVID-19, we are closed. Mm-hmm. On the booking system, you really can't do that on the front end. Wow. Um, and then you can kind of direct them where you need to direct them. Um, like with the booking systems, it's kind of like, you know, they go there, they see all your information but they might just only want one thing and so i'm able to link a lot of other things that i offer like i'm a maven distributor i don't do these but i still have clients that get it so i want to be able to offer them that service so i'm able to embed that link onto my website versus you know trying to text it to them and you know and it's a convenience thing is everything i'm able to offer even like with retails even if i didn't do retail online i could still show them what i offer Because when you get, I think we talked about this, like doing service menus, we get a lot of walk-ins that come in. And sometimes my client that's in a chair, I can't stop and have a conversation. So I can be, you know, I can say, you know, well, unfortunately I can't get with you right now, but if you take my card, it has my website and my social media, you can get all the information that you need. You can find out about me. You can find out the products I use. You can book online and all of those things. And You know, even though I have a website, I still have my booking system embedded because some, I mean, I ain't a true web designer. I just have an app for stuff and I know how to put stuff where I want it. Um, And so, you know, I think it's very important when you're trying to build a brand and you want to see it grow beyond who you are. Like if you want to die today or tomorrow, you have something established that a niece, a son, a daughter could come and pick it up and it's already there, you know. So, you know, it was just for the long term, long story short. (laughs) Um, Okay, we got a few people from Facebook. Hello, we have Renata Harris. Hey, Renata! Look, I'm waving at my phone because I was looking at the comments. Hey! Uh, We have Janisha. Hey, Janisha! Then we have my sister Monica. Hey Monica. Hey Monica. 
So, all right, that that was good. That that's good. Um, that's good information. Like, like you said, and I think you had mentioned to me too. It kind of sets you apart from a lot of you know other, um, you know, hairstylists, beauticians, or whatever. Mm -hmm. and the fact that it's all in one. It's like a one stop go. Mm -hmm. um, you just get everything on the website. Anything you want to order products, you want to order merchandise or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So after talking to you and after taking that class, I guess I'm going to go <laughs> do it. Yeah. And, you can, and you can always start small. You know, I feel like as hairstylists, as industry people, we already have an eye for what is appealing. Right. So it's just about taking the time and like, you know, before we had this whole mandatory stay at home thing, you know, I did spend a lot of long hours trying to get those things together so even though i have more time now to fine tune because right, right. now what i'm doing is just fine tuning things but in the beginning i did spend like when you was doing your stuff on canva right, right. <laughs> you spend you're up like two three in the morning because you're passionate about it because if you weren't you'd be like oh shoot well, but i'll just do it tomorrow right and for me like i wanted to you know what i'm saying i've always been like this it's not a about me ultimately is about what I can do to help somebody else, to serve somebody else. And I've always believed in offering customer service. Like I don't have to be the best at doing one thing, but if I'm offering you an overall experience, that's going to set you apart. So from the time you book your appointment to you, you leave in, it's a whole experience, you know, that people look at and, I've gained a lot of my clients because of, like you said, the whole set apart, you know, just was just set apart. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, do it, Kenda. Yeah. <laughs> Get a website. Look, I'm trying, Monica. She be like, no. oh. No. 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 Cause I'm that person that'll get distracted, you know, because like when I was trying to, you know, I was on camera the other night, like I was telling you, I was up to 2.30 in the morning because I wanted it to be right. I had yeah. one. I ain't like it when did something else. And I'm like, I ain't got the patience for this stuff. Yeah. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know. You got to do it. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, and to bring another layer of who I am, I look at everything now in my life from a biblical least foundation and you have to till the land before you can see stuff, you know, and sometimes is you out there four in the morning doing what you got to do before the sun come out and burn everything up, you know. So if you got to be up to two, three, four o'clock in the morning to work on something that God has given you to do, it's worth it. You know, you just have to know. You might have spent six days out of the week working on it, but at least give yourself one day or two out of all of it. So, you know, I used to, my thing used to be, and I used to say this all the time, I'm like, I can sleep when I die. And then I was like, you know what? That is the dumbest thing because, right. I, you know, so, I mean, I realized the importance of balance. Mm -hmm. um, balance is the key to everything. You know, if you want to see something grow, you got to put the time into it. But you also have to allow yourself the opportunity to just kind of rest, self-reflect. Because if your mind keeps going and going, that's where the mistakes happen. Yes. Yeah. That's good. That is good. But anyway. Is it feedback on my end? No, I said I don't like it with mine. I don't know why. It just sounds like when you first start talking, it's a little muffled. But once you talk, it's fine. It's not going to happen. Yeah. All right. So. Um, talking about websites and all that stuff, you have a few classes that you're going to be teaching. Um, yes. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you can do it. So talk about <laughs> some of the um, classes that you have coming up um, that you're going to be teaching. Um, so I'm going to do, I got two classes right now. One is a free class that's actually this Saturday, the 25th at 12 p.m. is on Zoom. Mm -hmm. um, and it's talking about the importance of retail. Um, and the reason why I've decided to do that is because, um, for a lot of different reasons. One, because clients aren't able to get their hair done right now. And 
all the time that we put in as stylists to get their hair healthy mm -hmm. and to get it to a place where it's growing and all of that stuff, you know, I'm like, it's important for y'all to have this stuff right now. Yeah. Even yeah. even when this is all over, I mean, I've had clients that's been out of the country mm -hmm. and they call me like, I don't have anything to do my hair with, you know, so it's important to have these items with you know so you can always have access to them because you never know when you aren't able to make it to the salon and you don't want your investment you know to go down the drain i mean it's just like buying a car you don't buy a car and just drive it and don't put the best oil in and the best gas you get the products that go with that vehicle so you can keep it healthy and keep it running so right, right. i wanted people not just clients, but stylists, because sometimes we slack, because I, I was one, we slack on the importance of retail. It's not about because we're trying to get extra money in our pocket. Of course, anything that you service, you offer, it is a financial reward, but it's because I'm like, I don't want you to come in here and get your hair colored. You bleaching it, you lighten it, and, you, and, and then you go home and you using ISO plus oil sheen, right. pump it up, spray, you know, <laughs> and then you're like, why is my hair so dry? I don't know, because I don't use that stuff. Right. So, right. you know, I want to do this class to explain that to stylists that are scared to offer retail or just need a little extra push, and as well as for clients. So that class is a free class. And then my next class, which is May, I think is the... I think the tenth or the ninth. I forgot where I was talking about but it's a it's a Saturday, but it's um it's a paid class, but it is um showing how to use Canva. And for those that don't know what Canva is, Canva is a um you can have the app on your phone or on your computer, but it's a service where you can create pretty much anything. You can create you know social media posts, business cards, logos, websites, which we just found out in our class yesterday. Um, you can create a lot of things, birthday cards, like my husband's birthday was doing the virus and I couldn't go to the store. So I created him a birthday card. I made a birthday banner. You know, by, oh, I did all of that by using Canva right. and it's, you can get the free on the paid service. So I want to teach people what um, I've learned and give people some pointers um, in regards to um you know, we are trying to save our coins because we all want to be creative and offer different things. So that's a class that I want to teach because someone poured back into me mm. and encouraged me and motivated me. And I'm trying to step outside of my box as just a hairstylist because, you know, I'm getting, I always tell people I'm getting closer to retirement age <laughs> than I am, <laughs> you know, beach me turn up age. Right. So I got to look to do things where I'm working smarter and not harder. Um, and I've always wanted to be an educator. Um, I have the title, I have the degree, and I have the certificate that I am an educator. So now is the time for me to fine tune and start doing the things that God has willed for me to do. So that's the class that I'm offering. And probably I'll be able to do more in the future, um, but this is um, the first two things that I'm working on. <laughs> a lot of other things I got to. <laughs> that is good. Thank right. you. Hey, Shamee. Hey, hey, Ro. I got some of my planner babes over here. Hey, planner babes. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Okay. So. Okay, so you okay? So you said your planner, babes. Talk about that, cause girl, you got busy. You got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> my client calls me her favorite octopus. Um, <laughs> so planning, I have to always explain it, cause people that don't know don't understand. I'm not a party or an event planner. Mm -hmm. I am a planner. So I don't know if you see all of this stuff. So this is a part of another side of my life. I am in a a planning community where we take scrapbooking. Hey, Naylee. Um, We take scrapbooking and paper planning and put it together. We take our planners where you would normally write dates and birthdays and appointments, and we take it to the next level. We put stickers and washi tape and all this good stuff. Um, I always tell people, if you want to kind of see what that life is, you got to follow my uh, planner page, which is Her Lovely Plan on Instagram. 
to kind of visually see because I can say it, but some people be like, hmm, I don't get it. But it's like scrapbooking and getting your physical planner together. Okay. Um, and so in that community, I found my, my niche. I found joy. I found friendships. Mm. And I also found <laughs> YouTube and Etsy. And I became a YouTuber. I am a paid YouTube where I get monetized for the content that I put out there. Hey. I've been kind of slacking, but you know, for all my planner babes that's watching, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. <laughs> um, but I just show them how I set up my planner for the week, how I decorate it, and you know, how I print things. And with that, another passion came and it came in creating stickers. Mm-hmm. I don't like my handwriting. And it was hard for me to find stickers that said the things that I needed to say on a daily basis. So after talking to my husband, he was like, do it. And, you know, we decided to start Scripts by LNC. So we make um, script stickers that say, like, prime example. And I didn't even plan this, but they're right here. So because we've been doing a lot of Zoom classes, online classes, I'm like, I need some stickers. So they're, I don't know if you can see them. So they're. It's just like words. This oh. is so it'll say like, you know, webinars, Zoom meeting, online classes, conference call. And then I just made it like a different size. So I make stickers like this. I don't, you know, so if you into, I don't know. If you're a YouTuber, I got YouTuber stickers. If you, um, like I got script, shift, script stickers <laughs> that say tab verse of the day, scripture, reading, writing plans. So I pretty much cover a large variety of words that I feel that people use on a regular basis. Right. And I wish I had my planner in here that I got currently to kind of show you a little bit. But um, but yeah, so, you know, I do that too. <laughs> Where are you busy? <laughs> You are that's good though. That's Thank good. you. Yeah, I mean, because God talks about you know having multiple streams of income. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, we have, I mean, yeah, we well, our pastor talked about it, you know, yeah. I mean, talked about having you know multiple streams of income. And I mean, yeah. you want it to be something that you love, yeah, to do, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be excited just to hear you in your class talking about the plan yeah. and the secret. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what they're talking about, but I just hear plan and it just sound fun, you know. Yeah. So that's I mean, what the word, like, you know, like how um, Dr. Bradley, you know, taught us, you know, from, you know, because we go to a Bible based church. We we know how to apply, we've learned how to apply the word of God to our lives. We're not just, you know, reading scripture, we live in it. Right. And I mean, the word does say God will make, you know, room for you when you have your gifts and your talents. Yeah. It's, you know, and if you don't operate in it, then you won't see the, the overflow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think for me, this time of breaking that, you know, we were forced to break has just opened my eyes to a lot of things, you know, business wise, um, personally, you know, like mm-hmm. people will make room for you, you know. So I got to be like, all right, God, show me what my purpose, my plan you know, so I can do what I need to do to, you know, walk in it, you know, so, well, that's good. Yeah, somebody, I think your friend, what did she say? We play, so for the, um, for the class on Saturday, um, if you register and if you can't watch it so for any of my classes like if you register for them whether it's the free or the paid you do get access to the replay um i will i save i'll save it and then send out a link so you can access it um you know because i'm the type of learner like i can look and visually see but sometimes i want to go back you know and then like you know i'm in the house and when my bonus son is here you know, he'd be on a video game with his friends, bro, bro. I'm like, man, I ain't hear what they just said. So I like to be able to have the opportunity to go back. And I feel like if that's how I feel, I know somebody else feel that. So to answer your question, Monica, yeah, um, when you register, you will still also be able to have the replay for um, a certain period of time. So let me ask you, you being the computer whiz, are you able to pin your links to your classes? in this 
at the um, I don't know. Can you pin on Instagram, but can you yeah. pin on I don't know. I never tried it. But if if you can, you would have to do it because you're the um oh host. But what you can do when you go back in when you save this in the comment part, oh. you can add you know the links like you know okay X Y Z and to get connected. And I mean, and if anybody is interested, I actually have them on my events page on my website at haircouturesalon.com, and that's couture with a K. Um, so if you go on my website, um, it'll have, um, you just click the link for events and it'll let you, um, you know, access and register there. But I would also, uh-huh. Okay, yeah. well, if you'll put like all your information, you're going to have to help me because you know I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just text it to you, you copy and paste it and put it in the comments. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. let's make it easy for me. <laughs> Okay, so let me think. Was there anything else you wanted to share about you, your life, or mm. the industry? I mean, let me ask you this. What okay. can you give other stylists out there right now with the season that we're in? The season that we're in and the season that we're going to? Um, right now, while we're going through this season of, I call it the season of refreshing. Um mm -hmm. Because one, if you are if you're already if you were in business prior to this happening, then you're already one step ahead of those that want to be in business and have to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, so I think during this time, just take all the you know free courses that you can. If you have some coins available, take the ones. It, it, that you still have to pay for because I'm a firm believer in, you know, in order to see a return, you got to invest something and whether it's your, you know, and again, I mean, I can't, I miss him, but this is what he taught us, you know, our pastor, you know, he, he just, he says it best. Like, you know, if you want to reap the harvest, you got to be willing to put in the time, talent and treasure, you know, sometimes you need to have the time to just sit all day and watch Zoom. Sometimes you got to use your treasures to, you know, buy into what it is that you're trying to grow. And sometimes you have to offer your talent freely in order to see the next person get to the next level. So I just think that if anybody takes anything out of this season, refresh what you got going on. Figure out, you know, what you can do to have better business practices. You know, figure out, I really feel like, you know, God has used this to show, especially the beauty industry, like, look, you can make the money and not have a packed salon. Like we got so I think a lot. Of, and I say we in general, but as an industry, we want all the money. You got 10 clients in there. You can only service one at a time. One at a time. And, you know, for us, we don't get PTO and sick time. So when we out, we out. Yeah. So we have to do things that we are making sure that we are, you know, protecting ourselves too, because whatever we do, it's gonna affect our home. Yeah. yeah. So just just take this time to refresh, reflect, and be like, you know, what is it that I can do to make my business, you know, better, make me better? Um, and then when we are able to go back into our businesses, um take what you've learned and pay it forward and help somebody else mm -hmm. out. Don't try to keep all the information to yourself. Um, you know, we can't grow if we don't, you know, like you said, each one teach one. You know, the word says it's best. Our, per our people perish for the lack of knowledge. And you shouldn't want somebody in the same industry as you to have their business die yep. because you don't want to give them the knowledge to help thrive. Now, if they don't want it, they don't want it. Right. But... You know, if I hear somebody like, man, I'm trying to figure this out and you hear them, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to be like, oh, I heard you say, just start the conversation and be like, you know, like promise that we hear each other all the time over the wall. Right. Right. You know, and so you might say something and then I might wait a day or so. I'm like, yeah, because, you know, I was doing X, Y, Z and incorporate what I heard you saying that you were need for. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to be invasive. It's just all about how you deliver. You know what I'm saying? Because some people don't take 
advice well. So you have to figure out how to give it, especially if the spirit of the Lord tells you to give it. Mm -hmm. So um, just, you know, that's that's it. That's good. Thank you. That's good information. And kind of to piggyback off of, you know, um, about the beautician, like a lot of this stuff, like you said, refresh and, you know, stuff like that um, was kind of different. But um, the things that we're supposed to be doing in our salon, Anyway, mm-hmm. we're getting back to. Yeah, we're supposed to clean after each client, or we're supposed to have a certain amount of things. So I, again, I take all of this as a blessing, and like you said, get in there and refresh your mm-hmm. mind, your business, this everything, because we've got the um, the right way and what mm-hmm. you know, is supposed to be done right. So. Um, I can't wait to get in my shop. I mean, you know, I'm a clean freak anyway and clean, but yeah. I'm gonna clean it super, you know, super clean, you know, and just make sure yeah. that all the needed to make sure that our clients are safe, that we're safe, and you know, like you said, that is gonna we're gonna have to work a little harder. Yeah, you know, because we're only gonna be able to service one client at a time, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, God, I believe God will still bless our business and we still oh, can yeah. make the money that we were making when we were overbooked. Yeah. You know? I, I never overbooked, thank God. I, yeah. You know, I'm not knocking nobody who does. You know, you if, if that works for you, fine. But I'm just saying, you know, when you overbook yeah. and that with us taking one-on-one clients, I think God's still going to bless our business, you know. Oh, yeah. Just do the right yeah. thing, you know, so. And I think, too, like, um, this is well, <laughs> me and my husband have this conversation all the time. Like some people, this will change their mind and change how they look at how they are doing life. And then some people will just go back to doing the same thing. I mean, if it happened in the Bible, it happened in, you know, plagues and famines happen and those that, you know, did what God wanted to do, they flourish. And the ones that didn't, they didn't. But, um, you know, we just have to hold each other accountable and we have to, you know, cling to the ones, like you said, iron shop and iron, cling to the ones that, you know, really want it. Because I know like when I see stuff on Instagram, I share it with a group of people that I think that may be interested. Right. And if you take it, great. That's going to bless you. If you don't, you know, just don't be out here complaining that you didn't have the opportunity to gain more knowledge while you were sitting here and just, eating snacks. <laughs> <laughs> right. That is true. Well, I so enjoyed this conversation with Me you. Too. you know, we have all time, but you know, it's good to, you know, get on and I appreciate you taking the time to come on my show, Beauty Tales. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yes. Yeah, so once Keisha shows me, we'll figure this out. We'll put all her information in the comments or the title section, um, because I'm pretty sure some of you will want to take her classes and um, follow her. And if you're a planner, babe, you might want to join the planner. So anyway, again, thank you, Keisha. You're welcome. Thank Thank you. All who joined in, who commented and, you know, all of that good stuff. So, yes. And share the replay with your friends. Um, You know, some people are still essential personnel and they're still working. Um, this information, in my opinion, pertains to everyone. You could just take the word hairstylist out and put, you know, construction worker, uh, nurse, like whatever it is that you do, you know, just take this time to just, just, just to be better, mm-hmm. just to be better. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. Sheila. You're welcome. That's my client coming in. Hey, Sheila, I miss y'all. <laughs> All right. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all.